Okay, I'm going to show you how to enter a fish in a tournament. So here's what you'll do. You go to your apps, you open the Fish Donkey app. Once the app is open, uh, you'll see your tournaments that you have joined listed here. And for this one, we're going to use practice entering a fish. Uh, if you were in the North Metro sectionals, say the mus musky sectionals, you would enter that tournament. If I wanted to enter one in weekend fishing, I would open that. Right now I'm going to hit practice entering a fish. It's going to open it. It shows me some leaderboards. Um, if you only have one leaderboard, it will show it here. Any fish entered will also be here. We hit the enter a fish button down at the bottom. So I hit enter a fish. It gives me some instructions. I'm going to ignore these because I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to say don't show again. And actually I want to show you what it's like without having to go through that. So I'm just going to cancel out of this and do it again. So now, now that I've said don't show me those instructions again. Now I'm looking at the leaderboard. I want to enter a fish. I just hit enter a fish. It immediately opens it up. It goes to the camera. Uh, iPhone and Android are slightly different, but let's say I caught a fish. I would take the fish I caught and we want you to take several photos of you holding the fish. And these are to do two things. One, it proves it's you. And the other thing, uh, it can be useful for showing the results after the tournament's over. Uh, we can see what the results are like. And so now say I, I take my fish, let's just, I don't have a muskie. Uh, let's pretend this is a muskie, it's a walleye. Um, put it on the board. You've taken several photos of you holding it and you can take photos of the fish on the measuring board. And what you can also do is hit the record button. So I'll take some photos of it on the board. It's the, it's the camera icon and you can hear it clicking. I will take video of the fish. I'll start the video and I'll just prove that the fish's nose is touching the measuring board. I want to see that it's touching the measuring board. Uh, go all the way down the length of the fish. And then I want to see that the tail where it's touching the measuring board. You might be using a bump board or a ruler, whatever you're using, make sure you get the head and the tail. Um, if you can't get it in a photo, in one photo, make sure you do it with a little bit of video. You'll have 30 second video. And then when you're done, you can also take another 30 second video uh, and record the fish being released successfully into the water and swimming away. All right, and when you're done with your photos and videos, you hit the check mark. This brings you back to the summary screen here. You'll see all your photos and videos. Every one that has a check mark in it is included and going to be sent. It'll automatically choose the first five. Uh, if you've taken ten uh, and you want to submit them all, make sure you, you check them because they won't be automatically selected. The first five will be selected. Enter the species. We're going to say this is a muskie, and we will say we have the new leader on the leaderboard, a 59-inch muskie. We hit submit. Got one. And we hear the indication that our fish has been sent in. And there I am. I'm the new leader on the leaderboard. <laughs> I hear a donkey sound indicating that I am the new leader on the leaderboard. If I wasn't the new leader, we wouldn't hear the donkey sound. We would just see our entry on this leaderboard. If I want to double check my entry, I can hit this fish icon in the upper right hand corner. If I press that, I can see all my entries. I can see that it was a 59 inch muskie and it was received. If I needed to resubmit it or something, if there was a bad connection, it will happen automatically, but if it doesn't for some reason, you can always check it here and resubmit it. Uh, the other thing is we can look at these fish. Everyone can look at them. If I want to see the fish here, keep in mind, these are going to be full high def videos and photos. And so it does take a little time for them to load, but once I load it, and like I said, you're probably not going to do this while you're out in the lake fishing. Uh, but once you load it and you're in good connection, you will have fantastic quality where you can see 
everything down very much detail of the fish. And I think I've covered everything. We, we talked about opening the tournament. We talked about using the tournament called Practice Entering a Fish. Uh, I showed you how you can look at your submissions and then I explained that these are high def photos and that you'll be able to review them. Um, that's it. That's all you need to know about entering a fish. Try it out before your tournament so that you're familiar with how to do it because you do need to use the app to take your photos. You have to hit enter a fish, then you have to use the app to take your photos. You can't just take photos and then try to submit them because the app's going to prevent you from doing that. Uh, it, it's going to prevent you from cheating and so it's not going to let you turn in an old photo or an altered photo. Oops, it's a musky. Got one. And there I submitted a 55 inch fish. That will not be make a donkey sound because it's not a new leader on the leaderboard. There I am, number three, with a 55 inch fish. Okay, that's all you need to know about how to enter a fish. Try it out before your tournament.